Hello and welcome back to the Medic Trust plugin. Um, I've recently put out a couple of videos uh, with the uh, new trim and extend feature and today I just wanted to um, make a few uh, updates to that and I guess basically I wasn't quite satisfied with the uh, way the trim to uh, tool was working and so I've made a few um, uh, upgrades I guess to it. So. Let's uh, start here with a situation where you can possibly have use for the uh, feature. And um, so, for instance, we've got this, uh, I guess you could call it a hip uh, rafter or beam coming down over a corner, inside corner wall. And, um, you know, so you want to, you've drawn this thing and you want to get that bird's mouth and it's kind of a compound bevel cut thing going on there. So it's rather complicated. Uh, you know, you can't use a single face, you can use a double face. Um, problem is, if you tried to do it previously, um, and you click this face and that face, um, how are you going to click the part that you want to remove, which is hidden within the uh, geometry of the wall itself? Uh, that, that gets tricky. And so it's kind of I would say clunky and clumsy and so we need to figure out a way around that and so what I've done is I basically made it so that we've got a little uh, ability to let's go ahead and uh, click, 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 or click on these two faces create our cutting planes okay so now what happens is once you get to the part where you're going to now click on the member you're going to see this text which says <coughs> which says remove so that means that will remove you know this this piece um, and by hitting the control key, you're able to toggle that, and now it will retain. So basically, it inverts your selection. So now if I click on this beam, rather than remove it, um, it should retain it. So normally speaking, before, uh, the way it was before, there, you didn't have this option, and, and obviously the default behavior was to remove. So now let's try that. So if I do that, you know you're left with this little wedge which is not what you want you actually want to remove that wedge so let's hit undo and let me demonstrate now with the uh, with the <coughs> selection inverted so I'm gonna go ahead and click those faces again I'm gonna hit the control key there in the corner of my keyboard and now we'll hit this member and now you can see that um, uh, it removed that little wedge okay <coughs> let's lift this up here so you can take a look at that Okay. So the wedge was removed as expected. And of course this is uh, solid and, and uh, everything is as it should be. Um, okay. Let's uh, Now let's go ahead and chop out the next piece. <coughs> Just to s complete the process here. So we'll go ahead and there and go in there. And then again control and then retain. Okay and there you go you've got your bird's mouth cut uh, all in there nice okay <clears throat> so there you go and of course you could do that sort of similar thing with the boolean tools of sketchup itself um, problem is you know you'd have to great create a cutting solid and then remove it uh, whereas this tool kind of allows you to quickly just create you know those cutting planes and then remove the piece that you want to remove without having to go through a lot of effort so hopefully this will speed you up when it comes to custom editing of uh, you know geometry like this okay so <clears throat> now we have a situation let's go jump over this other corner of the building here um, okay so now we've got this situation here I, I wanted to be able to do where instead of an inside corner we've got an outside corner and we've got a hip rafter dropping down across this top plate and you'll quickly realize that if you try to use two planes to cut out that little piece in there um, you're going to run into difficulties um, <coughs> and granted I don't know exactly how people do these um, if you do that um, you'll end up you know with well let's go ahead and do it we'll show you um, okay so retain and then let's click the next two planes and retain okay and so you end up with a, th a situation like this you know so that that thing's pretty chopped up but 
and maybe this is the way you want to do it I don't know but you can see that you're not able to cut to this plane and to this plane uh, with the cutting two pl uh, two operations like that with the trim to trim to tool so <coughs> uh, what I've done instead is I have given you one additional tool and this is called the trim three tool okay so what this allows you to do is basically select three planes three cutting planes or three faces to trim a member with and let's go ahead and demonstrate that and uh, one thing of tricky about this tool a little bit is you the order of operations is generally uh, important so I usually like to select um, the, the two vertical faces first and, and, and really it shouldn't matter which vertical face you select and then the horizontal face so let's go ahead and select this face and we'll select this face and now we'll uh, select that face okay so we've got three faces selected and now <coughs> and then we're going to um, not remove but retain so we'll go ahead and hit retain okay and you can see now we've got it looks like it did what we wanted let's pull it up and take a look and like I said it's it's impossible to do this particular cut with um, the trim to tool so you can see now we've got a, a compound sort of bird's mouth cut right on the corner on the outside corner just like that and if you check this um, it's of course a solid group which is what we want. All right, so <coughs> that is the new Trim uh, 3 tool and allows you, like I said, to select a plane, a vertical plane, a vertical plane, and a horizontal plane. And of course, you can um, <coughs> use that uh, tool to basically do the same thing we did back here. I'm going to regen this beam, get it back to where it's not cut. So now if we come along here, and rather than doing two operations with the trim two tool, we're going to use the trim three tool. We're going to select this face. We're going to select this face. We're going to select that face. We're going to retain this. Okay. And now you can see that we've got the compound cuts that took us two operations to do. We have in a single operation with the trim three tool. But again, the Trim 3 tool is a little more um, tricky to use in the fact that you the order of <coughs> those faces you select is important. So typically for this sort of thing where you're trimming these uh, hip rafters, uh, you're going to want to select the, the vertical, the vertical, and the horizontal. So, all right, well, that's uh, basically it. Um, so both of these uh, trimming tools now have a retain rem or remove uh, toggle feature with the control key you want to be aware of so that you can toggle, uh, you know, you basically invert your selection. Um, I haven't changed that with the regular trim tool. It's always been, uh, you know, you select which side of the plane you want to trim. Um, so that has not changed. But these tools now have that ability to invert your selection. So. All right, well, if you have any questions, give me a call or give me an email. I'm always glad to hear help uh, anybody out, and I appreciate your support, and thank you.